is a story about a genius scientist who made horrible viruses. Ebola, MERS, Zika. Predicted in dystopia years before the first case in the real world. Yeah, you're one of those, huh? <laughs> it all has to mean something. <laughs> what have you done today to earn your place in this crowded world? Like you've made so many wonderful films over the years, and I understand this is your first foray into a regular role in television. What was it about the Utopia script and story that uh, drew you in and led you to television? It's wonderful writing and, and a wild, imaginative, uh, surprising, shocking, just a fantastic world. But just don't say inevitable because that sounds scary. I don't want to sound scary. And took over climate crisis because that's political. Don't want to be political about the end of the world. I got you. As, as you've watched the series and watched what's sort of been unfolding in the world today, were you thinking... I have a show that's coming out that reflects a lot of the themes that are happening right now in the world. With the dystopic themes, it was just surreal because we shot it um, and the theme of the virus was in the original British show and we finished it and then we looked up and, you know, the whole West Coast is on fire and there's a pandemic. So I, I think the only respectful way to say it is surreal. Viruses, biowarfare, man-made disease. I'm the foremost expert on this virus. Jesus. Michael Stearns is such a, a very different kind of character. Is is he the good guy in this show? Because I know I'm rooting for him. <laughs> yeah, he ends up being a good guy. Dr. Michael Stearns starts as a basement dwelling researcher, scientist. Uh, and he goes on kind of an epic journey where the virus that he discovered be ends up being at the center of this global pandemic. It's mind blowing that we were making a fictional show about a fictional pandemic four months before an actual pandemic. And uh, the way that this show mirrors what's going on in the world with conspiracy theories and billionaires behind the scenes and uh, comic book nerds, super fans, and uh, it, it, it's, it's really amazing. I think audiences are gonna really freak out when they see that. How much evil do you have to do to do good? None, none evil.